Hello, we're back, and this is Collection Connected. I got a couple of mail calls, and we'll do a box opening. Um, I actually ordered a box of Ravnik off eBay, and that's the way it's shipped in a padded envelope, so we'll see how that goes. Um, these are some cards I got on TCG Player. Let's see what we got here. Oh, so we got Emra, one, two, three, four. Um, I played against that card at the pre-release. It was pretty strong, so I went ahead and ordered four of those just to mess around with. And uh, there should be a foil one in here somewhere. Let's see if one of these other envelopes might have it. Ugh. I don't really care for those. Let's see what we got. Ha ha, there we go. There's the foil. Let's open up this box here and see what we got. Guild of Ravnica. Actually got this for 77 bucks. So everybody talking about how start uh, Amazon was gonna be the end of magic and blah blah blah. I've never paid anywhere close to $100 for a box of Magic cards ever. I, I, I bought the one box of Battle Bond just because I wanted something to open for the channel with my son. But other than that, I've never paid more than $80 for a box of cards. Um, so I don't know how much of an impact Amazon's really going to have. Because I still wouldn't buy them at that price. I would go to the local game shop and get them cheaper. So I don't know. For people that are paying a hundred dollars a box, I was always just sitting there with my jaw open, like, who pays a hundred dollars for a box of magic cards? Because I never have, other than that one box of Battle Bond I bought, and that was because I was impatient and wanted something to open with my son. All right, hmm. all of my packs. Are cut on the bottom. Does everybody? Does it? Does other people get that? With the cuts, with the packs cut on the bottom. I've always wondered. Cause I've never noticed anybody else to comment on it, but I always get my packs cut like that. All right. Let's see. We'll skip through comments. Let's see. Crackling Drake, Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Demir Spybug, Quasi Duplicate, and a fail. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Skip through the commons. Sinister Sabotage. Oh. Crown Secrets, I skipped an uncommon. Swath Cutter. Ugh. Alright. Well. Drown Secrets. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. I don't even remember seeing that card when the spoiler season was going on. So we start out with Rock Charger, Sun Home Stalwart, Circuitous Root, and Venerated Luxodon, and a Foil Dark Blade Agent. Try and speed this up a little bit. Okay, skip past the commons. 
Arboretum Elemental, Join Shields, Hellkite Whelp, Izoni Thousand Eye. And let's see. Go off the middle. Let's see with Aurelia on the cover. Kroll Harpooner, Murmuring Mystic, Thought Phantasm, Gruesome Menagerie, and a Golgari Fine Broker foil. So far, not too good. Let's see what we got. Smelt Ward Minotaur, Conclave Cavalier, Inspiring Unicorn, Comradry. Alright, we're still not doing good. Foil, Ledvian Guardian. At least that's got good art. So far, we're like at what? <laughs> Dollar with cards? <laughs> Let's see what we got. Rock Charger, Murmuring Mystic, Street Riot, Thousand Year Storm. Wah, wah, wah. Good lord. It's not looking good. I don't think we've got a single good rare. Or mythic. Alright. Affectionate Indric, Swarm Guild Mage, Rampaging Monument, good lord. If you guys saw me open all those packs the other day, I already got three of those. So that makes four of those already. I got three of those out of six packs. <laughs> three of the Charnel Trolls out of six packs. Let's see. Night Veil Sprite, Flower and Flourish, Swath Cutter Giant, Beast Whisperer, our first good card. We'll put him over here, he's got to represent. Let's see. Under City Necrolisk, Boris Cha Boros Challenger, Gird for Battle, and a Watery Grave. Alright, hopefully the pack will turn around. Or the box will turn around. Alright, Necrotic Wound, Justice Strike, Inescapable Blaze, Blood Operative. <laughs> Ooh, Experimental Frenzy Foil. That might be doing a little bit. But Blood Operative. Wah, wah, wah. That Blood Operative might be decent if he wasn't so easy to kill. Only a 3-1. Motor Hulk, Chemister's Insight, Legion Guild Mage, Chromatic Lantern. Alright, that's not bad. What are we up to, like, three, four good cards so far? Hopefully we get a three or four uh, Stockland box. I've seen a lot of boxes with double foil rares, too. That would be nice. I'll probably trade that Experimental Frenzy off. I don't have any use for that one. Beacon Bolt, Enhanced Surveillance, Conclave Guild Mage, Tajik Legion's Edge, and a Foil Crawl Harpooner. Oh, and a uh, Vraska emblem. That's a good sign. Usually when you get emblems, you get you, the Planeswalker shows up somewhere. At least in my experience. 
Let's see. Notion Rain. Night Veil vale Spec Sprite. Mind of the Masses. Glow Spore Shaman. Yep, see? Veraska. That's cool. Veraska and her emblem. One pack had the emblem, the next pack had her. Alright. Okay, let's see. Night Vale Predator. Disinformation Campaign. Inescapable Blaze. Necromoeba. Well, we got one more mythic holding out in here. Let's see, what do we want? Ah, uh, dang, that flying 6-6 six, six black one would be pretty cool. I'm trying to think what actually I might be playing. I might play with in the Mickey. Oh, Aurelia, that would be a good one. Let's see. True Fire Captain, World Soul Colossus, Plague Crafter, he's good. Experimental Frenzy Non Foil, and Foil Barrier of Bones. Um, that makes my third experimental frenzy. It's an interesting card in the right deck. This was good. Demotion, lock down a creature. Selective Snare, Legion Guild Mage, Assure Assemble. Yeah, there we go. These cards still feel kind of cheap and flimsy, too. They don't feel anything like a beta card. Cards are not the same anymore. Goblin Crater Maker, he's good. Street Riot. Lothlith Giant and Expansion Explosion. Okay, Goblin Electromancer again. All right, Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Electrostatic Field, Book Devourer, Erratic Cyclops. Ugh, I think this is uh, looking like one of the worst box open openings I've seen so far. That makes the second Erratic Cyclops I've got also. All right, Beam Splitter Mage, Lava Coil, that's decent, Pilfering Imp, Midnight Reaper, yeah, that's decent. Let's see. Night Veil Predators, our first one. Goblin Crater Maker again. Book Devourer. Ritual of Soot. That's uh, a decent board sweep. Oops. And it's down. Yeah, we'll leave it down there. Alright, League Guild Mage. This has some of the best art in the set. Um, Invert Invent, District Guide, and Thief of Sanity. Oops. Move those in the right pile over here on the right hand side. Alright, man, we're getting pretty slim. Okay. House Guild Mage, Wander Vertebrae, Goblin Banneret, Vivid Revival. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully something amazing happens because we just have how many packs we got? Five, nine. All right. Uh, 13 packs. So 
roughly a third of a box. See if we can turn it around. Is that, uh, yeah. Cackling Drake, Crackling Drake, Grappling Sundew, We Dreadnoughts, Eye and Eyes. That's decent. Gird for Battle Foil. Okay. Let's see. Whispering Snitch. Golgari Fine Broker. Crush Contraband. And this is a red, white, gold. Oh, good lord. Ugh. That's my fourth one of those. Def Deafening Clarion. As I'm cleaning out the uh, dollar cards for everybody else. Rock Charger. Gird for Battle. Golgari Fine Broker. Under Realm Lich. Hey, he's not bad. Hey, that's my second one of that I got already. Let's see. Well, there's our last mythic, though. We're not getting the uh, Black Flying 6-6. Six, six. Golgari Raiders. We Dreadnoughts. Loth with Giant, Omni Spell Lap, another big wah wah. Come on, come on. It's not even an Assassin's Trophy and only a one shock box. Ugh. League Guild Mage, World Soul Colossus, Inspiring Unicorn. And find finality, making six of those I now have. Let's see. Not even an Assassin's Trophy? Okay, Glaive of the Guild Pack, Thought Erasure, Sprouting Renewal, Temple Garden. All right. Well, at least it's not a one-shock box. Now give us a steam vents. I actually have that in foil from um, Dissension when it originally came out. I believe it was Dissension. Has the Marshal, Crackling Drake, Goblin Banneret, and. Ooh, new hide Ferox. It's not bad. And also, it's a four mythic box. Makes my second no hide Ferox. Okay. Electrostatic field. Beacon bolt. Creeping chill. Ooh, night of autumn. All right. Alright, now let's pick up a little bit at the end, saving the best for last. Five packs. We get an Assassin's Trophy. And, uh, be pretty good. Then I can go trade it for Foil Chandra. <laughs> Might of the Masses, a True Fire Captain, Plague Crafter again, and... Most of the um secrets. We'll see if that turns out to be as good a tutor as uh, people are hoping it'll be. Okay. Golgari Raider. Crush Contraband. Okran Assassin. Sacred Foundry. Yes. Three shocks. All right. I was starting to doubt this box, but it's coming on strong at the end. Okay, Guild Summit, Cruel Swarm, Disinformation Campaign, Arc Life. Wow, a five mythic box, Arc Life Phoenix. 
and unexplained disappearance foil. So I think, yeah, it definitely came on strong at the end. Conclave Tribunal, um, Discovery Dispersal, City Watch Sphinx, Pelt Collector. Nice. Let me just check something. Did I mess up or is that doubles? Oh, the Beast Whisperer, the Pelt Collector. All right. Last pack. So far, we don't have any Assassin's Trophy. Okay, Gladev Champion, Flight of Equinox, Silent Dart, it's gold, it's a split card, boo, Response Resurgence, alright, alright, well, let's flip back through and see what we got here, we got five Mythics, that was pretty decent, Okay, so we got Ritual of Soot, Res Response Resurgence, Expansion Explosion, Assure Assemble, Quasi Duplicate, Pelt Collector was one of our good ones, Sacred Foundry, Muslim Secrets, maybe, Knights of Autumn, Nullhide Ferox, Temple Garden, um, Find Finality, Quasi Ept, Underrealm, Underrealm Lich, Ionize, The Beast Whisperer, Arclight Phoenix, might something happen. Um, this Midnight Reaper, I think, is what is decent. Experimental Friends and Ease, got possibility. Veraska, Tajik, Chromatic Lantern, Watery Grave. Venerated Luxodon's actually pretty decent. All in all, wasn't too bad. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.